Organic farmer Mariano Jimenez cultivates corn in the Aragon region of Spain. Unlike other local corn growers, he doesn't use pesticides. Nor does he plant genetically modified corn seed. Seventeen years ago, I switched from conventional to organic farming. I wanted to produce healthier crops that didn't damage the environment. That's why I farm this way. Still, the farmer has a problem. Genetically modified corn is grown on 25 percent of cornfields in Spain. GM corn is more resistant to pests, but it contaminates organic corn production. That has economic consequences for organic farmers. It eats into their profits. Once the corn is contaminated, I can't sell it as organic produce. Even if there are trace amounts of GM contamination in my harvest, it means I have to sell my crops as conventional corn. Spanish agronomist Rosa Binimelis is an expert on the issue. She's examined the interaction between the different strains. One way they interact is through pollination. Pollen from the GM corn, carried on the wind or by insects, inseminates the organic corn. That means that the cross-pollinated kernels will carry traces of DNA from the GM corn. Spain has been allowing the use of GM corn for 18 years. In other European countries, genetically modified crops are officially banned. David Sanz is a fervent advocate of GM corn, even though it's more expensive. He notes that insects, such as caterpillars, can no longer destroy the plants, because the modified strain produces a protein that's toxic to pests. We can't afford to lose 30 percent of the harvest because the corn we grow is riddled with caterpillars. Cultivating corn is already expensive. That's why we've turned to GM corn. It ensures that we'll have a perfect harvest. Rosa Binimelis is critical of the GM corn. She points to its high cost because agribusiness holds patents on the genetically modified seeds. When we talk about GM plants, we have to address the agricultural model and the monopolies. GM seed is produced by just a handful of companies who control the market. Mariano Jimenez has considered whether it would be better not to grow organic corn anymore because of the high probability of contamination from GM strains. Instead, he would grow organic vegetables. Traditional agriculture is disappearing. We used to grow corn. Now it's all about GM corn. So we can't grow normal corn that hasn't been manipulated. And in the EU, it's illegal to sell that for human consumption. GM corn can only be fed to animals there.